Welcome to the Afterspin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. Connie Wilson and, and Dennis Wicker. Following the election of Donald Trump, we've seen protesters in our larger cities demonstrating against the Trump election. In your years in politics, have you ever seen anything like this? What impact, it, if any, do you think it's going to have down the road? And should the proper response, and what should the proper response to these protests be, Connie? You know, we've been seeing many more protests. You know, down at the legislative building, Moral Mondays was every Monday night, and we've been going through that for several years. So, I see this as really a, a continuation of of this, this type of strategy. I don't know if what type of funding sources are behind there to keep it organized because it takes a lot of work to have to keep things well run yeah. with, with protests and whatever. But I don't think it has much impact because it's happening so often and the voices many times are so shrill that people just kind of tune them out. Anyway. There, there's a point where uh, the, the voters, the other folk out there become desensitized. And I think we're at that point. Um, I think the folk that aren't, that are watching from the outside just think, you know, just give it some time, just breathe, yeah. you know? Dennis, your reaction? Well. I think people are upset uh, about the election, um, and of course, uh, I, you know, personally, I, I, I was unhappy with the election uh, of uh, President-elect Trump. But, but actually, I think uh, these protests uh, are not helpful, uh, but for this reason, I think most Americans, and particularly North Carolinians, uh, look at this as that the election is over. Uh, let's give our newly elected president a chance. Uh, I know that many of them are skeptical, uh, but I don't think the protests are helping the cause. Uh, I think most Americans say, let's settle down here and let's try to unite and get behind the president and move forward. Again, most people are skeptical of that. Uh, I'm somewhat skeptical of that, but I think it's the right thing to do, and I don't think the protest uh, that we're seeing now is going so to have a So what should you be effect. saying to these protesters? I think I would say let's just give the, the, the president a chance to, to implement his policies and see where he goes and what he does with them. Some of them they may like. Who knows? Uh, but I do think it's ineffective. Uh, what they're doing is ineffective, and it's not having the impact on people uh, that they th may think that it has. And I think that, it, in fact, it's, having, it's counterproductive to me. Uh, I think most people don't like to see that. Uh, we need to be coming together. Uh, not not drifting them apart. Now, what's so neat about the United States is we've gone through hard times. We've had controversial leaders, but we always come through it. And it's one of those things about trusting the country and being patient. And, and trusting the the Constitution. That's and the exactly process. right. You know, it's you know, it all kind of works out. There'll be plenty of time to express your 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 feelings after they've had a chance to put in place what they want to do. Uh, as president. And so until then, until this is then, premature. Until then, I think this, we wait and see. All right. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.